Good morning and welcome to Half Moon Bay here at the Mavericks Invitational presented by GoPro. I think it's going to be 25 to 35 foot faces. A handful of guys in the water, every wave will get ridden. Mavericks is the most perfect of all the big waves. It has all of this ocean and swell energy converging onto this one point. And the amount of power, you know, one of the most dangerous, vicious, you know, breaking waves that you'll find anywhere in the world. It's gnarly. It's like the most powerful, intense type of swell. Even when you anticipate it, you can't really prepare for what that means. When it's long interval swell like this, you can almost see that there's going to be a set by the way the water moves on the reef beforehand, almost like how oh, tsunami is sucking dry. I think experience is the biggest part of big wave surfing. You only get to do it a couple times a year, and you learn something every time you do it. That horn goes off, there's no warming up, it's go time. And there's no words can explain how extreme that is. You get hit out there, it's like getting in a car wreck. I don't know how many more car wrecks I can handle. Beautiful day and waves are still pumping coming out the back on the horizon here at the Mavericks Invitational. Jeff Clark always says Mavericks was left. He initially surfed Mavericks by himself as a left. The potential for an absolutely amazing giant tube right on the left is far higher. Grant Twiggy Baker, another Mavericks champion, trying to bear down on this pretty meaty section. Twiggy is not going to be able to survive this one. Serious battle for the next one. Tyler Fox and Orange Peter Bell in red going over the top and now colliding with Dave Wassel at a pretty sticky situation as they actually collide and go down. Tyler, Wassel, and Peter Bell all wanted a piece of it. So after the collision with Dave Wassel, Pete Bell gets back in position, gets this gem. Healy on the left and Fletcher on the right, but Mark Healy really picking up some big points today here on these lefts at Maverick. And the Hawaiian is utilizing Maverick's lefts today with that west-northwest swell direction to get the points and hopefully push him into the final. The best six surfers from the day are all squared away to meet up in the final. Who do you see as being the hungriest out here? Everybody's hungry out here. Dave Wassel is crossing lines left and right, wasn't he? Yeah! Are you betting on Rob? Greg, but Pete Mel um, really had a couple great waves too, so yeah. right now it's between those two, I think. Alex, we got three of us that, that are willing to split the prize money in the final and just go have fun. Party They're waves. actually all agreeing to split yeah. the prize yeah, money. We Whoever wins this thing is going to be sharing it with all six competitors, something that you don't see happen in everyday competition. Healy, he's not afraid to pull into a closeout no matter if he's in Pipeline or Mavericks or anywhere around the world. And the judges are going to like that effort. Oh, beautiful drop from Zach. And the judges again will love that. Peter Mill grabbing the rail on a super steep and late drop. Gonna go left here. Pete knows this wave both left and right. He gets a big backhand turn. I don't know how he does that on such a big board and he kicks out. Will that be the winning wave?
Second place, Zach Wormhout. Incredible.